Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable, and take a deep, slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination, and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. The Final Lessons Our final lessons will be left as free of words as possible. We use them but at the beginning of our practice and only to remind us that we seek to go beyond them. Let us now turn to him who leads the way and makes our footsteps sure. The Holy Spirit within us, the lucid aspect of our own mind that has never fallen asleep to the dream of separation. To him we leave these final lessons, as to him we give the direction over our lives henceforth. For we would not return again to the belief in sin which made the world seem ugly and unsafe, attacking and destroying, dangerous in all its ways, and treacherous beyond the hope of trust and the possibility of escape from pain. His is the only way to find the peace that God has given us. It is His way that everyone must travel in the end, because it is this ending that God Himself has appointed. In the dream of time, it seems to be far off, and yet in truth it is already here already serving us as gracious guidance in the way to go. Let us together follow in the way the truth points out to us, and let us be the leaders of those who are assigned to us, who are seeking for the way but find it not. And to this purpose let us dedicate our minds directing all our thoughts to serve the function of freedom from illusions. Unto us the aim is given to forgive the world. It is the goal that God has given us. It is His ending to the dream we seek and not our own. For all that we forgive we will not fail to recognize as part of God himself, and thus his memory is given back completely and complete. It is our function to remember God on earth, as it is given us to be his own completion in reality. 
So let us not forget, our goal is shared. For it is that remembrance which contains the memory of God and points the way to Him and to the heaven of His peace. And shall we not forgive each other when our forgiveness offers this to us? The one we forgive becomes the way, the truth, and the life that shows the way to us. In Him resides salvation, offered us through our forgiveness given unto Him. We will not end this year without the gift our Creator promised to His holy children. We are forgiven now, and we are saved from all the wrath we thought belonged to God and found it was just a dream. We are restored to sanity in which we understand that anger is insane, attack is mad, and vengeance merely a foolish fantasy. We have been saved from wrath because we learned that we were mistaken and nothing more than that. And could the infinite creator be angry at his children because they failed to understand the truth? We come in honesty to God and say we did not understand and ask him to help us learn his lessons through the voice of his own teacher and would he hurt his children or would he rush to answer them as one and say this is my beloved one and all that i have is his be certain that this will be his answer for these are his own words to you and more than this can no one ever have for in these words is all there is and all that there will be throughout all time and in eternity. And now, take one more deep, slow, and full breath in. And as you exhale slowly, let your mind and body relax. As you open your awareness to the idea with which we practice today. This holy instant would I give to you. Be you in charge, for I would follow you, certain that your direction is peace. And if I need a word to help me, he will give it to me. If I need a thought, that he will also give. And if I need but stillness and a tranquil, open mind, these are the gifts I will receive of him. He is in charge by my request, and he will hear and answer me because he speaks for God, my creator, and his holy creation, my own true self. And now step back 
and do not touch any thought, no memory, no imagination. Let all things fall away except your desire for the direct contact of the Holy Spirit within you, the lucid, aware presence that has been the unwavering witness to each and every one of your experiences throughout your life. And now listen. Listen with your whole being. Become the space of pure receptivity and openness. Opening all that you are to receive the impartation of truth. This holy instant would I give to you. Be you in charge, for I would follow you, certain that your direction is peace.
take one more deep, slow and full breath in, drawing in all of the energy and frequency of your practice, breathing it all the way to the top and for a moment hold it and feel the integration into your perception, your mind and your consciousness. And as you exhale slowly, let your mind and body relax and allow the integration to take place. And remember to bring this feeling and this awareness with you into the rest of your day. Holy Spirit within me, this day would I give to you. Be you in charge and I will follow you, grateful that your direction is peace. My gratitude is to you and for you. Thank you for investing your time and energy into your awakening and the awakening of the world. Much love for all of the kind support, comments, and encouragement. May you live each moment in the peace and the awareness of the one infinite creator, beholding his divinity in everyone you meet. And enjoy each moment of this journey. I will see you in the oneness that we share.